Hi guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Stepping aside from the usual tutorials, I want to talk to you guys about the largest asset pack for both beginner and professional video editors, filmmakers, motion graphic and VFX artists. This pack has literally everything you need to make your videos look beautiful and professional. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at some of the most useful elements in this pack and what makes it worth adding to your library. First of all, I want you guys to know that I'm super picky when it comes to making sponsored content on my channel and I really wouldn't go into the effort of making a video like this unless I use the product myself and have no doubt that it will bring value to you as well. So I hope you guys are all doing well and thanks for choosing to watch this video. Today we're talking about the one and only graphics pack you're going to need. Cinepunch with almost 10,000 assets such as transitions, color presets, flares, fog, particles, sound effects and so much more. The crazy part is that you get all these thousands of elements for just $49 which is without a doubt a really great deal considering the number of high quality elements that are included as well as the amount of time that you're going to save. I personally used to spend a lot of time online trying to find assets like these and I usually end up spending a lot of money on single items or wasting so much time looking for free ones which 90% of the time end up being low quality. And what's even more exciting is that today I'm gonna be giving away 3 Cinepunch licenses so if you're lucky enough you'll be adding 9999 elements to your library without paying a single penny. So if you wanna be one of the 3 lucky winners stick around till the end of this video and I'll let you guys know how to enter. Now keep in mind that the pack works with Premiere Pro, After Effects as well as Final Cut and Apple Motion so you don't have to worry about compatibility. As soon as you open the pack you're gonna notice that subfolders are organized based on categories. It's well structured and you should be able to easily find your way towards the type of elements you're looking for with no issues. Honestly the coolest part about all this is that there's a whole bunch of video tutorials available here which are gonna guide you through installation steps as well as how to import and use everything that's included in the package which shows you how serious the creators are about this bundle and how much effort they've put into it and I really appreciate that. Now let's go ahead and have a look at some of my favorite elements in this pack. Let's go ahead and start with one of the most essential categories in any asset pack which is transitions. I'm on Windows system here so I'm gonna be using Adobe Premiere Pro. I've quickly put some footage together in my timeline and if I wanna add transitions I can simply go over here to import and look for the transition punch project for example and import that. When this uh, small window pops up make sure you select import entire project and enable both create a folder for imported items and allow importing duplicate media. So you can see here we've successfully imported all these types of transitions. What's cool here is that you can preview the transitions which also come with sound effects uh, that are ready to be dragged and dropped into your sequence. For example, let's have a look at some glitch transitions by simply dragging this over to my timeline above the cut I now have a cool glitch transition. What I find really useful here is that you can still play around with the sound effects since it's built using multiple audio files and of course there is a whole bunch of other transitions, a few thousand options for you to choose from and depending on your own preferences you can choose to go with something really slow and simple or super crazy. Next let's have a look at some lens flares which are available in this bundle. You can find these under the the anamorphic creams folder and again these can be added on top of your footage by simply dragging and dropping the clip into your sequence. These are all 4k and 8k clips so always make sure you're scaling them according to your sequence settings. Let's change the blending mode to screen and there you have it. You instantly get that Hollywood cinematic look. I think there's around 200 flares for you to choose from inside Cinepunch and I really love using lens flares not only on footage but also in motion graphic projects such as intros for example. Here's a quick example I created in After Effects and I'm going with something very simple for the sake of this demo and by adding lens flares to this I instantly get a whole different look. So if you're into creating cinematic intros adding flares will definitely make a huge difference. 
You can always combine that with other elements to create your own custom intro. I can make things a bit more dramatic here by adding fog to my scene. Lucky for me, Cinepunch has over 150 fog and haze elements, which I can drag and drop in my composition here. So let's give that a try. You can import any fog element you like to your project, just like any other clip. And all you need to do here is bring it over to your composition above all layers. This one is in 4K, so I'm gonna scale it all the way down, change the blend mode to screen, and maybe I will bring the opacity down to 50% to make it blend uh, a bit more. I think this works really well, especially with the lens flare which we previously included in the intro. And maybe you're editing some action or thriller sequence and you wanna add a bit of mystery to it, then you will really love these fog elements, especially that real fog and haze machines can be really expensive to rent and difficult to get right. So this can save you a lot of time and money. And of course, you can always color grade your scene to blend the fog properly and achieve a more authentic look. Now, speaking of color grading, Cinepunch comes with over 800 color presets to help you stylize your videos. You can find this pack under the LUT master folder, which also includes a detailed tutorial that guides you through the installation. So make sure you check that out if you're new to color grading. Let's take Premiere Pro as an example. Once you install the color presets, navigate over to the effects tab and under presets, you'll find that a new LUT master folder has been added. And these are all the types of looks that you can use. You have black and white, sci-fi, and many, many more. And inside each of these folders, you'll find a bunch of presets to choose from. And if you select your clip, you can also preview the final look over here. Let me try a horror look for my sequence here. Maybe I'll go with a new scare horror preset and uh, I can add it to my clip by double clicking on it and that's gonna add a new lumetri effect to your footage so you can even still play around with the presets intensity as well as add in your own adjustments on top of it if needed now let's take a quick look at some particle elements and you can find these under the cine dust big pack so let's go ahead and bring some of these cine dust elements to our project and add some particles to my footage here. This will probably work a lot better in cases where you're creating uh, a close-up fake fire scene or something like that in post, but you guys can see how easy it is to apply. Let's try and use that on my intro as well and see how that looks. As you can see, this is really a good addition to the haze and flare elements. I think this would make more sense if I could add a fire reveal to my title. This would look really cool. So I hope that gives you an idea on some use case scenarios for these elements. Lastly, let's have a look at the sound effects pack which comes with Cinepunch. There's over 2300 high quality sound effects for you to add to your transitions, motion graphics. So let's go ahead and play some of these effects back. And that's only a small portion of what's included in the pack. There's a bunch of other elements which I cannot cover in this short video, such as glitches, anamorphic lens looks, camera shakes, haze, lens damage overlays. And on top of that, the creators are constantly adding more and more elements to the bundle as well. I honestly believe that you get a great value for the price. If you purchase Cinepunch, you get thousands of 4K, 6K and 8K video assets as well as high quality sound effects for just 49 USD. I will leave a link uh, to the pack down below for you guys to get it. And if you feel lucky enough to win the pack for free, drop a comment below and let me know how you think this pack is gonna come in handy for you. Make sure to include hashtag MDMZ in your comment to enter as well as your Instagram ID so I can reach out to you. I'll be announcing the three winners on June 5th, so keep an eye on the channel. In the end, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can easily find your way back to the channel. And as usual, do let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Apart from that, stay safe everyone and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.